Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of One Man Stream. I'm actually very excited about today's episode because it's a really neat topic and I think you're going to find it interesting. Uh, but also it's the first episode or the first video that I've recorded uh, since I redid the studio. And I hope you had an opportunity to watch last week's uh, tutorial, well it wasn't really a tutorial, last week's video of my studio conversion. I started off pretty much with a storage room and I ended up with what seems to be a very functional studio. So I hope you had a chance to uh, watch that. In today's episode of One Man Stream, what we're going to do is we're going to create this league scoreboard that you see right here. And we're going, I'm, I'm going to detail it in uh, GT Title Designer, how I actually made it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to UTC and I'm going to show you how I created the interface in vMix UTC to control this. Pre-game it looks like this. Uh, what I do is I have uh, both the teams that are playing here and right now you're just seeing default logos for all of them because I haven't gone back in and put the logos for the particular teams. Um, but over here where it has the LS, it would actually have the logo for each individual team uh, like you see right here. And then I have the record of the two teams that are playing and then I just have it defaulted to the first quarter. Uh, but this is what it looks like at the beginning of the production uh, when I first show it. And then this is what it looks like during the production. And what I do is I have the current score uh, for each team. You'll see over here the name of the team and then you'll see their particular uh, school logo. And then um, over here you'll see at what point the game is in. So I'm going to show you how I do that in vMix UTC. But first, uh, well let me just go ahead and show you the UTC layout. Okay and here is the UTC layout. And just to kind of orient you with what we're doing here, um, these buttons here, these are all with the drop down. You'll see them here, uh, here, and here. These are all uh, list widgets. And then these here that have the score and then pregame that have the team record, uh, these are text fields. And I'll show you how we set these up for each one of these uh, individual uh, teams. Over here, you'll also see the drop down um, indicator here. So these are uh, the team logos are all list widgets. And then I have a few things over here. This is a text uh, field. This is a text field. And then I have a few things uh, that bring the overlays in and out. And then I have these set up to clear uh, different overlay channels throughout the production. And then I have one that does clear all. Uh, these buttons right here we will not be discussing this week. Uh, we'll be discussing this in a later tutorial. Uh, but this is going to be the focus of what we're doing today. So now let's go to GT Title Designer. And this is what it started out looking like in GT Title Designer. Let me direct your attention down here. Uh, this kind of just sets the scene uh, for what this scoreboard is going to be. This top rectangle, I'll click on it. It is this entire rectangle right here. And then uh, the scoreboard name is right here. Sometimes we'll use a particular sponsor for the scoreboard name. And then I also show right here, I show the week number that we're currently in. And then this right here is the sponsor logo. And I'm going to show you how um, I made each one of these particular components. To kind of um, make it a little less busy, I'm going to turn off several of the layers. This top, top box here, all I did is I came over here to where it says rectangle. I clicked on rectangle, then I brought it over and it created a rectangle the size that I wanted. And then I went up here to fill color and I changed it to a bluish color. And on this particular rectangle, I didn't use an outline. If you wanted to use an outline, you would click right here. You would choose your outline color and then you would choose the thickness of the uh, outline. But in this particular uh, setup, I did not use an outline. And for right here where this is the scoreboard name, I just went up here and I clicked on the, a, uh, on the ABC and that's going to give us a text block. So I clicked on that then I brought it over here where I wanted it. And I'm going to center it in the middle up and down and left to right up and down. And then, and I'm going to use this little button right here. It says configure automatic uh, text box resizing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select shrink. 
And that way, if I have a really long uh, sponsor name that we're using this week, it's going to stay in this box that we've created and not spill out to the other, element, uh, to the other elements. And then I need one more text field, so I'm going to come back over here to ABC. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come over and stretch again, and I'm going to center it in the middle and left and right. And I'm going to try to make these two about the same. But what I can do in, to make some fine adjustments is I click on the title bar and then use the arrows on the keyboard and it allows me to make fine adjustments and that looks like they're lined up so we'll leave that right there and then for this particular image right here the sponsor image I come over to where it where it says image I click on that and then I go choose an image okay and I just drag one of the corner grab one of the corners and drag it and it's going to shrink it down to the size that we want. And then when we have the size we want, we're gonna move it into its location. Again, I'm gonna click on where it says image two and use my keyboard to get it exactly where I want it. And this is what layer two looks like. On these two boxes right here, I used this uh, image button right here i just clicked on this and made uh, uh, two placeholders for what's going to be the team logo this right these fields right here one two three four five all of these i used the uh, abc and made the text block and then i just positioned those uh, particular text blocks where i wanted them within that field that i just created and then what i did is i came over here and I held down the control key and I clicked everything that was contained within this box. And then I went up here and I clicked on create group. And now it's gonna make those a, a, a layer all into itself. And that's the reason why I can uh, turn, them, turn it off and on because I created a group layer with those. And so all I did after that is I kept, is I came over and I copy I click copy and then after I click copy I came over and I click paste and when I click paste it just uh, all it did was create another block identical to the one that I copied and I did that seven times uh, to give us the layout for the scoreboard so let's go ahead and turn the other layers on okay and I do want to mention for each one of these that I created let's go to team and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click you'll notice that each one of them uh, use that shrink function and I want to make sure that I have that I want to make sure I have that on each one of these particular fields because whatever I'm putting in that field uh, I want to make sure that it stays confined within that particular field that we created I don't want it spilling over uh, into other elements so uh, I always use that shrink uh, function right there now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the layout in vmix utc so let's go ahead and bring this in and as I, as I said each one of these are um, list widgets and let's click on one of the buttons and you'll see where it says list widget right here this is the input that we're going to be using in this entire utc layout it's league scoreboard and then these are all the different elements that are within uh, that graphic uh, that we created and you can see some of them are source and the ones that say source are our images and then these other ones are text and all these are the text fields that we created in our graphic so let's just go ahead and start from scratch on one of these i'm going to click widget i'm going to click list and i'm going to bring it down here and then we're just going to call this team demo and let's go ahead and make it a color we're not using so that it kind of sticks out and then let's do the mapping we're going to bring in our league scoreboard and just for demonstration purposes we're going to call this team one text and right here there are two buttons one says save list and one says load list and we're going to click on load list 
and we're going to go to where it says high school football names. This, this is the list that I created. Well, let's go ahead and open the list up. This is a, a list that I created in Notepad, and it just has all the football teams uh, that we're going to be using throughout the year. And then after I created it, I just came over here and I clicked uh, Save As, and I gave it this name, High School Football Names. So all I did here is I went to, uh, I clicked on Load List, then I followed the path to that list, then I double clicked on it, and it added it right here. And it has all these teams that were in that notepad list. Now, you can see that I have some extra lines here. How do you get those extra lines? I'll hover over it and it says add list item. You click on this and it's gonna add one more line to the bottom. And I'll show you how quickly it is, how quick and easy it is to add something on the fly. I'm just gonna type in demo name and click OK. And then when I go to this drop down menu, right here at the bottom, it says demo name. And I click on it and it changes it to demo name. And you'll also notice that this one right here also changed because I was using team one when I set this up. So let's go ahead and change it back to what it was. And you can see that it changed in both of them. And that's pretty much what I did for all of these teams. I just came up, I click on the cog here where it says widget properties. I come over here to where it says load list and I loaded the list in each one of these team buttons. This here is a uh, where I, I have the score and then pregame where I have the record. This is the, just a text widget. And what I did for that is I came up here, I click text field and let's just call this text demo. And then I came over here and I mapped it. I just clicked on the plus button. It adds this line here. League scoreboard. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll just put this to team one score. And you can see that this is team one, this is team one score. So it's reflecting the same score. So if I come over here and if I change this to 20, it's gonna change it here. And then let me bring back in our original graphic. And you can see where it changed the score to 20. Well, I'm gonna go back to that uh, text field we just made, text demo, and I'm gonna change it back to 14. And when I do it, it changes it in real time back to 14. The last group that I'm gonna show you is the list widget for the quarter indicator. So I went up here and I clicked widget. Once again, I clicked on list and let's just call this quarter demo. And we're just gonna go ahead and map this to quarter one. And you can see that uh, first popped in because this is being mapped to this particular field right here. And this also says first. So then all I did is I clicked on the cog and I came over here and I clicked on this six times. And I put in these different designations. So now when I hit this you can see all the ones that we just created. And if I click on this and make this say final, it's also going to make this one say final because these two are actually mapped to the same uh, piece of information. And I'm going to bring this in and you can see where this says final. Let's go back and change it to first. And you can see where this changes to first. And then you can see where this changed to first as well. The only other thing that's different on this layout is right here where I created the uh, team logos. And let's go ahead and look behind this button. And once again, this is a list widget. And all I did is I loaded a list. So I came over, well, I came over here and I clicked on load list. And here's the list right here. It's called uh, football logos. 
2022 to 2023. And let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, and you can see that it's all the logo. I brought all the logos in uh, on this particular notepad. And how I do that is let's go to some pictures. And I'll just bring this one in for the heck of it. Uh, what I do is I click on the image I want to bring in. I click on copy path. And then I come over here and create a spot. And I click paste. And it brings it in right here. But as it brings it in, it brings it in with these quotation marks. And these quotation marks have to be removed. So I'm going to I'm going to remove the one in the front and I'm going to remove the one in the back and I'm not going to reload the list again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more spot at the very bottom and I'm going to click paste and it brings it in with a quote. So let's get rid of those. I got rid of the one in the back. Let's get rid of the one in the front and click OK. And then it should be loaded here at the bottom and it's probably not going to fit within our field that we have because that field was more of a square and this image is more of a rectangle, but I'll click on it and you can see where the Trinity T uh, changed to that logo. So let's just go ahead and change it back. I'm coming back over here to the drop down menu. I'm going to come here to where it says Trinity and click on it and you can see where the Trinity T came back and we're back to where we started. Okay, you can see three different tabs here. We have a text tab, we have images and color. Uh, for this particular setup, we're not using the color, but all the text fields are under text. So for all the team fields, the team name fields, all the particular scores for each team, and then the quarter indicator, those are all under text. And the images are going to be the logos for the particular schools, and then also that image logo that we have right up here uh, this image logo that we have right up here at the top. So the only tedious thing is to make sure that you have it mapped to the correct uh, bit of information. And uh, that's very simple to do. And I'll show you on this one right here. Team one logo. We do the drop down box and we have all these sources here. Logo one, logo two, logo three, logo four. We have them all in here and you just have to make sure that you have it map to the right logo. All you do is select it and then click OK and then choose something from the drop down menu and it's going to uh, display that in these fields right here. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to show you is on this vMix UTC layout. And I'm only showing you this now because I don't think I've covered this in any of my previous videos. Right here is where our second scoreboard is. Uh, it's the exact same layout. It was made the exact same way. And I'm going to show you how I get back and forth between these two pages. If you click up here, if you click on this uh, button right here on the cog, the command that we're using is next page. And I'll show you these commands. Next page, previous page, or you can set it to an end, to a uh, particular page within, within this layout. And I'll just go ahead and create a button and show you how that works. I'm going to click on next to script here. I'm going to click on the plus button. It says add script command, which is what we're going to do. Let's hit the drop down menu. So we're going to put in here uh, set page one because we're on the second page right now. Set page one. And then let's click on it and it takes us back to the first page. Now on this one here, the command that I used was just a previous page. And that's going to take us back to this page right here. So you can either use previous page or next page, or you can set it to a specific page. That's our tutorial for today. I hope you found it informative. This is a kind of a special Labor Day weekend tutorial that we did. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, please uh, watch our previous tutorial where we, uh, where I showed you the conversion from my uh, storage 
slash studio to the store to the uh, studio that I have now and um, uh, make sure you do give us a thumbs up and a like and make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you.